And I'm 2024. I'm here at the Black Star booth with my good friend Steve. Hello, Steve. Hello, mate. How are you? I am rocking. My voice is starting to go again, so you might know which day I'm doing this video on. Day. Day 100. I'm having a great time. You? Absolutely, mate. It's always, always good to be back. I'm in my element talking to people about gear. I love it. It's quite quiet here. It's really noisy over there. Yeah. It's lovely here. It's like a little breath of fresh air. Yeah. Anyway, um, we're here because of the new ID Core version 4. Oh, absolutely. I did a review of the version 3. It, it wasn't a glowing review. What have you changed? Small changes. So we've, we've, the first thing to note is USB-C, right? <laughs> Oh, modern connectivity, right? So it's been upgraded from USB vintage. Um, I, love, uh, I love that old vintage yeah, USB. Yeah, it's really something. I didn't, I hated it. <laughs> USB-C is the only way forward. Yeah. Uh, power reduction as well, which, you know, in a practice amp is kind of a quirky thing, but even the 10 watt can be quite loud for, uh, for a beginner. And if you don't know what you're doing with, uh, with, with volume, mum and dad can come across and, and, uh, and press the button. Super glue the button closed. Yeah. Tape over the button for one watt on all the models. That's really useful. Like, if you like, I'm, I'm sure the sound is. Does it compensate or is it just quieter? It's, it it does compensate. So it still has that that feel of ID Core. If you've played ID Core before, um, and it still feels great at one watt, you know. So well, it's, it's good though because I'm a lazy guy. But I, I work hard, but I'm naturally very lazy. <laughs> so why do that? Or that, when you can do that, that's yeah. easier. Yeah, exactly. I play. I'm into that. I play a lot at low volume, so I enjoy playing at low volume, no matter what amplifier I'm going through. I get a little bit sort of self-conscious when I'm cranked loud without any band. If I'm with a band, it's all good. But on your own, I like playing quiet, and it's perfect for that sort of stuff. It's because you can't play very well. I know. It's terrible, man. <laughs> I, I jest. He's amazing. <laughs> And three what's the differences. Three models: ten watt, twenty, and forty watt. Um, it is it is our best seller uh, beginners amplifier. It really is the home amp. But we've had word from some great artists that have bought it for home just for jamming. So it appeals to many different levels of player. <laughs> Can you record with it? You can. How'd you do that? Via USB. Oh. So, and cab rig, of course, is a huge part of this amplifier. One of the things I've been reminding people about at NAM is actually cab rig light. You've got nine cabs, you've got three mics on or off axis. So if you're stepping into that world of IR type technology, for a beginner, it's a really easy step in. It's very simple to use, very easily laid out on the, on the software, on architect the software and uh, really good. Sound-wise, we've also got clean. What else have we got? Two cleans, two crunch, two overdrives. There's 12 stereo effects. Obviously, it's two speakers in each of these models. So playing audio through here, if you're jamming to your favorite bands, it's going to be a real nice experience. The delays are very immersive. Uh, another thing that I'm reminding people about is the live streaming thing. I know you covered it before. You plug your phone in with a TRRS cable, and you can record to straight to video or straight to your voice memo app. Email the riff to your bandmates. You've got a new idea for a song. You might want to pre-record some content for TikTok if you're just getting into that world and you want to be just like this guy. Very famous. I'm huge on TikTok. Yeah, very famous and online. That's what I meant. <laughs> but yeah, it's great for that as well. So I'm reminding people about that feature. There's not many other amps that kind of do that. So I, I totally agree. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. I don't know if I can say this, but I was told by internal Blackstar people that you started designing version four when you just released version three, and there was a pandemic thing, and you knew that components had to change. There was a little bit of that, of course, yeah. I'm not in, in the engineering side, but you know there is, there is some truth to that. Um, component shortage was a thing. Uh, we wanted to redesign it and, and have those components readily available for the new design. Another thing to mention is the ID Core 40 is actually a little louder. So who knows, a couple of SM57s in front of it, a small open mic, you might be able to gig it. I did gig the Boss Katana Air EX. Yeah. And it made it above a drummer just, you had to place it in front of the drums. Okay. So that absolutely is. I, know, I saw your video on the debut, that was awesome. The debut was, was great. Yeah. Um, and I wish there were more of them, so. That would be something I would really, really look forward to and recommend. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much for talking to me and uh, playing you. guitar, as always. There are more videos in the NAMM 2024 playlist, which is on your screen. There is a link to Blackstar and the ID Core version 4 in the video description. And I will see you in another video. Goodbye.